Hi, welcome to the NAB Show New York studio here in New York City. My name is Claire Plasted, and I'm joined today by Will Offman, Chief Product Officer from Wide Orbit. Hi, Will. Hi, Claire. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for coming in. First of all, can you just tell me a little bit about your company? Sure. So Wide Orbit was founded back in 1999, and we had one simple mission, was to make it easier to buy and sell media. We started off in over-the-air TV, and we basically built a back office solution for call letter TV stations. Okay. Back then, it was called traffic, sales, and billing, sort of what the back office operations did. Um, we launched that. We then moved into radio, into cable nets, into satellite, and we've extended our offering to have everything from what we would say today is pitch to payments. So okay. we try to provide the entire ecosystem to help our customers monetize typically their ad inventory. Okay. Great. So um, how do you differentiate yourself from other companies in the sector? So, so we've been doing it for a while now. I actually think what makes Wide Orbit special is our people. So we were a company built by broadcasters for broadcasters. There's empathy towards what the software does. When someone calls into our support organization, chances are they're talking to someone that has actually sat in the seat mm -hmm. that they're responding to. I think by having that tight connection and empathy, it's really helped Wide Orbit grow. I like to say within, and I oversee the, the engineering efforts, so we build the software. So our, our mission has been to listen and learn and then create fast, reliable software. Okay. And, and that's sort of been our mantra. It's empathize, care, and serve. Okay. Great. So what are you showing here at NAB Show New York? Well, so we are really highlighting our marketplace offerings. So I think we did a super great job on pitch to payment. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at ways to bring additional demand for our customers. So we built a next generation marketplace. Um, what I like to say is if you were a sales manager and someone knocked on your door and said, hey, I want to be a new AE, mm -hmm. you don't have to pay me. I'm going to bring you high quality demand. It's going to be higher than your average unit rate. Would you hi hire me? You don't pay me anything. That's what our marketplace does for our customers. Oh, wow. So okay. demand source that, that is external to how they sell it today and makes it easier for them to make more money. Right. And um, what kind of changes do you think we'll see from the company over the next 12 months? So we're going to continue investing in, in marketplaces to make it easier to buy and sell. Okay. Part of, and we don't call it programmatic, we call it marketplaces. And yeah. I think there's a, a notion that programmatic takes people out of it. Right. Our marketplaces are really more about automation. And a lot of what we're doing going forward is automating a lot of the manual pieces on the back office. Okay. So something we're releasing that we're super excited about is electronic material instructions. That's a, a, a uh, I'm not sure if you, the, the media buy, so the order comes in, the spots get put into slots, and then the creative comes with the schedule of how to actually air mm -hmm. it. Those instructions used to be hand keyed in. So we've now got an automated way to come from an agency trafficking system mm -hmm. and have it flow all the way into the station's trafficking system and eliminate all of the manual keystrokes. So okay. we're super excited. When we say make it easier to buy and sell, we may make the entire process easier, the back office as well as the sales processes. Okay, great. Well, that's really interesting. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. And, Thank you, and Claire. Talk to me more about it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.